breakthroughs in science and technology, advancements in business and beyond. Join us as we educate, enlighten, and entertain. This is Innovations. Hello and welcome. I'm Ed Begley Jr. and this is Innovations. Manufacturing remains a critical force in both advanced and developing economies. Today, advances in technology and design have brought new opportunities and challenges to business leaders and policymakers around the globe. In the business of manufacturing, problems are bound to arise. Being able to think and respond quickly to impending issues can save time, resources, and in the end, money. When we finally get that prospect, that lead from the internet that we've worked so hard to get through marketing or relationships, we finally get that one opportunity to get that great part. Here's that, here's that precision part that I can make. It's a perfect fit for my shop. And they say, oh, the other machine shop, they can't do it in two weeks, but I can. That means I'm gonna win that customer, I'm gonna take away their pain. What I've found over all the years in doing business, if you can take away the customer's pain, you've definitely won them for a lifetime. According to Rajan Suri, author of the book, It's About Time, the competitive advantage of quick response manufacturing. Time is money, and it's a lot more money than many manufacturers realize. Quick response manufacturing, or QRM, is a company-wide approach to reducing lead times throughout the enterprise and the supply chain. QRM focuses on reducing lead time for orders to go through the entire enterprise. Traditional strategies have focused on reducing costs by improving the efficiency of each operation. But let me give you the first of my two 90-10 rules. Less than 10% of a product's lead time is in actual operations. The remaining 90% or more is simply waiting time where nothing is, nothing is happening to the product. QRM focuses on reducing this remaining 90%. And to do that, you need to make different management decisions and trade-offs. Speed and responsiveness are core values that are central to the competitive strategies of the family-owned sister companies, Advanced Machine and Engineering Company, and Hennig Worldwide. Well, the company Advanced Machine and Engineering was founded in 1966 by my father, Willie Gellner, who had immigrated over from Germany and uh, received a, a, an assignment at Ingersoll Milling Machine Company. And in 1966, he decided that he would um, start his own business doing design work. And after a, a few designs for a multitude of customers, the customers asked, can you build what you're designing? And that's how we got into the machining world we received a number of opportunities to partner with German companies and one of those companies was Hennig. And they asked if we would be willing to set up a subsidiary of Hennig Global here in the United States. In 1999, the opportunity came up for Advanced Machine and Engineering to purchase the Hennig Inc. And we did that and then we became 100% owner of Hennig Inc. Working together, they provide the manufacturing machinery sector with products and technologies that are advancing as fast as the industries they serve. As far as product development, it's absolutely critical. And certainly that's a challenge for us because we need to be coming out with the next best solutions for our customers. To do that, we have to understand what our customers' needs and wants are and furthermore, anticipate what they will need tomorrow. And as long as we can be on the cutting edge and provide those solutions, we're gonna be given opportunities. Everything that you produce eventually ends up being a commodity. So if we're not one step ahead, our business will get commoditized. We're gonna to start to run into pricing issues where we will not be able to sell value the way we would prefer to do so. By focusing on designing machine components for machine tooling systems that are moving faster, AME and Hennig are able to respond rapidly to advances in the modern manufacturing sector. Uh, advanced started to invest in CNC machines I think in the mid 80s, eight, maybe 84, 5, 6, uh, we purchased our first CNC lathe and, and purchased another one and we just kept going. Well, um, you know, as equipment has, the demand for precision components, um, you know, has increased over the years. Of course, you need machine tools to produce those parts and that involves, um, you know, high precision turning, milling machines, grinding machines, 
So we just evolved. It was uh, uh, something the customers demanded with the, the drawings that were being produced by engineers and that drove machine tools and that drove the purchases that we made. Whether through the design and build of complete production machinery systems or by providing quality machine design components to global machine tool giants, AME and Hennig agree that in the world of manufacturing, time is money. Advanced machine engineering is basically a company of niches. And what we have done is we found a niche that we believe um, has a place in the market and we continue to exploit that. And what we have done, is we've taken our company and we've created into business units. We have a business development manager for each of these product groups and he's basically responsible for growing that business. So you can look at advanced machine and engineering and look at it as a company of eight or nine different mini businesses. In many cases, the different product offerings that we have actually do complement one another. There's a synergy effect between these product offerings and the marketplace uh, tends to be the same. So we can bundle a lot of our different product offerings together to one customer and get a greater share of wallet and larger market share. What we have done is we've developed, for instance, apprenticeship programs. We started it at Advanced Machine and Engineering Company probably 10, 15 years ago, and we basically create our own people. The beauty about doing our own training is that we also can input into these, these new recruits our culture. And if you mix the right culture with the right skill sets, with the right needs of the company to meeting the customer demands, then you have something. AME and Hedig's ability to remain competitive for three generations is predicated on timely decisions and the philosophy that it's not the big that eat the small, it's the fast that eat the slow. With technology going the way it is, the industrial internet of things is becoming more and more popular and being able to link to our customers' systems and almost know about a need before they even know and be able to respond quickly because we're integrated into their systems as well, um, I think is going to really take us to the next level of responsiveness. For more information, visit AME.com or HennigWorldwide.com. Thanks for joining us. We hope you'll join us next week as we continue to explore some of the significant developments impacting our lives. I'm Ed Begley, Jr.